Uh, I want to see a transcript of the Brennan hearing and count the number of times he said the textbook evasive answer. Let me look at that and get back to you and not a lawyer. Well, he said that was the thing about Brennan, okay? He said, um, here he is. This is one of the things that really stuck out because at one point, Brennan goes through explaining why there is plenty of legal justification for the targeted killing program as if he had a very clear understanding of the law. However... And, you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I've read all the OLC memos. The law says I can do this. However, despite the fact that there has been numerous um, findings that torture is illegal, apparently John Brennan cannot say so. Here he is being asked by uh, Carl Levin, is torture illegal? society should employ. My question is this, in your opinion, does waterboarding constitute torture? Uh, the Attorney General has referred to waterboarding as torture. Many people have referred to it as torture. Attorney General, uh, Premier, sort of, uh, law enforcement officer and lawyer of this country, uh, and as you well know, and as we've had the discussion, Senator, uh, the term torture has a lot of legal and political implications. It is something that should have been banned uh, long ago. It never should have taken place, in my view. Uh, and therefore, it is, if I were to go to CIA, it would never, in fact, be uh, brought back. Do you, have an, do you have a personal opinion as to whether waterboarding is torture? I have a personal opinion that waterboarding is reprehensible and it's something that should not be done. And again, I am not a lawyer, Senator, and I can't uh, address that question. Well, you've read opinions as to whether or not waterboarding is torture, and I'm just saying, do you accept yeah. those opinions of the Attorney General? That's my question. Well, Senator, you know, I've read a lot of legal opinions. I read an Office of Legal Counsel opinion in the previous administration that said, in fact, waterboarding could be used. So from the standpoint of, of that, you know, I cannot point to a single legal document on this issue. But as far as I'm concerned, waterboarding is something that never should have been employed and, and as far as I'm concerned, never will be if I have anything to do with it. Is waterboarding banned by the Geneva Conventions? I believe the Attorney General also has said that it's contrary and contravention of the Geneva Convention. Again, I am not a lawyer or a legal scholar determination about what is in violation of an international convention. So here you have Brennan refusing to say whether or not waterboarding is torture, uh, refusing to say, uh, because at that point, we all know that torture is illegal in this in. in, in according to American law, according to international law. And um, he cannot say that this torture practice is illegal, I guess presumably because it would implicate people that he knows would have uh, committed an illegal act. People that he would maybe end up being boss of, maybe people he works with. But yet, of course, his legal perception is a lot stronger when it comes to whether or not the program of targeted killing that he constructed is legal. It's funny how that works out. Hmm. Good thing for him he didn't go to law school. <laughs>